Voting for Servicemen Overseas is a pretty interesting Disney short, unlike, uh, unlike a lot of the content they put out in the 40s, because it's got a much more positive, can-do attitude. Obviously, 1940s, a lot of Disney's content was propaganda-based. Certainly, it's non-Mickey Mouse content. Um, although, indeed, there were quite a few Donald Duck propaganda shorts. But Voting for Servicemen Overseas is a bit more optimistic because it's championing democracy and saying that you have a chance to vote and to have your say in the federal election and I'm going to pretend I know about American politics for a second. I don't. Um, I try, but the American government system is a lot different to the British system, aside from the fact that we're both democratic. Although democracy in the last few years in the UK has not won us any favours. However, with this short, it makes democracy seem great, and generally speaking, it is a fantastic thing. And this is an instructional video about how servicemen, who are not currently in the United States in 1944, can vote in the federal election. And I think that that's lovely. It's, it's really nice to make, you know, obviously people were out fighting um, away from their country, away from their loved ones, but at least the country was taking the time to say, you can still vote, you are still part of us, you are representing us, make sure you take the time to have your say in the federal election. And it's an instructional video about what to do and, and how to go about doing it and where to look out for information leaflets at your station. And it's very interesting, It's for me particularly as a Brit who doesn't fully understand the American voting system and how things work over there, it's certainly very interesting to see the attitudes of 1940s and kind of the promotion of this can-do spirit. You are, you know, you can vote and have your say and, you know, be part of this great nation. And, you know, I don't want to say make America great again. I really don't. Um, but it is that kind of concept of, you know, you're away fighting for this country. It's important that you have your say when voting in this country. It's well animated. Um, I like the animation style, of course. It's narrated by, by Mel Blanc, which is always a treat. Mel Blanc didn't do that much for Disney. Um, I don't know if this was actually solely a Disney production or if it was co-produced with anybody. I, I'm not actually 100% sure about that. But certainly I enjoyed it. Um, I thought it was quite interesting. Very, I, I enjoyed it more from a, an educational perspective than I did from an entertainment perspective. It was um, released for the Army-Navy Screen magazine. I'm not entirely sure how they distributed this or how they showed it to Army servicemen. If anybody knows any more about the distribution, I'd be really interested to learn more about that um, and how it was received, of course. But I enjoy it. If you're interested in the content that Walt Disney Productions were pr putting out during the war, um, this is a, a fine example of how they were addressing servicemen. Because a lot of their content, obviously, is aimed at people who are still stationed in America, trying to encourage them to either fight for their country or pay taxes to defeat the Axes. Their words, not mine. So it's kind of interesting to see one that's aimed at a slightly different audience, but with a very similar message. It's definitely worth watching. I found it to be quite interesting.